Hey guys, Rob here, and I am going to do a brief little tutorial on some Men at War, the basics. Now, uh, first off, you're going to want to be aware of, if you look in the bottom right here, this individual rifleman has 50 bullets. Men can eventually run out of ammunition. And while when you're new, you generally won't have to worry about this problem because your men will generally die before they run out of ammunition. It is a problem. And as well as you may see a lot of guys putting up sandbags and fortifications and stuff like that. So I'll show you a little bit of that as well. But back to the basics. You have ammunition. You have the uh, unit. You can use Molotov, cocktails, or you know, anti-infantry grenades. These are riflemen, so most of them are loaded up with anti-infantry grenades. However, if you were to pick a submachine gun squad, you were to click on a the guy, they have smoke grenades and anti-tank grenades and any anti-infantry grenades. So, uh, looks like they also have a knife. These guys are your assault men. Here's a little bit of... If you're going up against a very well defended position, you're going to want to lob smoke to give yourself cover. I've used it before where if I had a key tank that I needed to protect and I needed to repair it and get it out of there, I laid smoke. So, uh, infantry, you want to keep them in cover. Now, you see here, this little halt like a shows where you can put the guy and that little orange arrow means hop the wall so you can do that and then you can hold him behind there there's three different stances on the infantry and uh, you can only move while standing up or crouched or I mean excuse me prone now a nice little trick is if you double click they'll sprint as opposed to just running so you see how it, that's just normal running and this is sprint so that affects and if you press spacebar he'll drop down and if you click normal while he's prone he'll crawl but if you double click he will get up and run so here I put him down in a smaller place so they'll kind of the AI will figure out what the best position to put them in is depending on the terrain they're behind so that's pretty interesting now um, let's see so let's see here we go I'm gonna take first person control of this guy which allows me to aim and shoot and even control him you'll have to find that out in the controls of your own but I want to show you something about obtaining other people's weapons. Now I killed this guy and I'm going to uncontrol now. And if I just hover over this rifle, I can pick it up. So say I find a bazooka or an anti-tank weapon or something like a more powerful weapon and I want to switch to it. He right now, you go down here and you can switch which weapon he's holding. So now he's got his submachine gun and he and switch to rifle but you'll generally have to manually do that if you pick up uh, to decide which weapon you want so let's see some more infantry basics riflemen are some of the only units that can make sandbags and to do that you're gonna look in your bottom right hand part of the screen to where it says use item the two gears you're gonna click on it and then you're gonna hover over where it says set breastwork now the easiest way to do this is to hold down the right click button the right mouse button and drag and I killed one of my riflemen um, so this squad of six went down to five so there's only five sandbags I can place now I drag and dropped so they're gonna put um, those five sandbags up now see how this eye reticle opens up when I look at this guy he should have a breastwork or another sandbag to make 
So I'm going to check him out. And uh, you can either do it with the eye or you can hold X and hover it over a body, anybody. So I can go to these guys, but I'm going to go to this dead soldier. Now he has grenade, I'll take that. Um, and But what I'm really looking for is the shovel and knapsack, which will enable this submachine gun guy, who normally would not be able to make a breastwork, to make some sandbags. So I'm going to go back to this use item. I'm going to click it, and I am going to drag and drop another little piece of sandbags and I'm gonna put it here because you know I think they may also come at me from the right side now if you just double click or single or double click behind the bags they'll kinda of bunker down and this is a good way to defend an area say here was a flag point or something like that now another thing is reloading vehicles. Let's go over reloading. You saw how you can um, get ammunition. Say this guy was a rifleman. All I had to do is click that. And I got his rifles as well as his Molotov cocktail. And Molotov cocktail is a nice little firebomb. But say this guy is completely out of ammunition because he got a little trigger happy and drunk off the bullet cap and he was shooting his own guys because he is a dick look at that this guy's auto healing himself that actually brings up a good point <laughs> if you're injured right here you'll have these heal icons and you can click it and he you'll uh, heal your guy up this guy only has two med kits left so to increase the survivability of your men you'll want to use med kits. Now if you're out of ammunition for a tank or something like that, we'll build a uh, T-34-76 and I right click the unit and you'll have this description page and it'll tell you a little bit about the type of tank and what it's good for. And you can say I want a really fast tank. I'll look at the speed. This guy is a 34, 34, 34, 31, that guy's really slow at a 20 and some of your heavy tanks will be slower now if you go to your lighter vehicles you'll find that they are considerably faster and you use them because they're more maneuverable and you gotta feel out the country get a good idea of their units this guy right here is basically a fast mobile artillery piece that's used to uh, operate on its own and you and I learned this simply by reading the uh, description page and the specifications will show you its armor it's very lightly armored if you look here he has um, 15 millimeters of turret armor whereas my heavy Joseph Stalin 3 tank has 160 millimeters of armor. So everything's tapped. Infantry, special forces, transport and procurement, which you'll find some cool little trucks and transport vehicles, artillery, light vehicles, medium and heavy tanks, and then self-propelled artillery. So what we're going to do is we are going to show how to rearm a tank. Now you're going to need an infantryman to do this. So I'm going to go over here, press X, or the alternative which is you can use examine, and it shows the shortcut key, which I've set to X. Yours may be different. Check your controls. Now I'm going to go here and look at all these types of ammo. I have no idea what my T-34 uh, fires. So to find that out, I can go here, click on his ammo type, and he has AP 76 millimeters. All right? So this guy, I need you to get AP 76 millimeters. Here it is. And I'm going to load him up, and he's just one guy, so I can load up. It looks like six at a time, whereas if I got rid of some of this stuff, you know, 
I may be able to rearrange things and I'm gonna try to take on one more so now I have a total of one two three four five six seven 76 miller AP rounds and if I want to double check if you press I for inventory granted you'll have to double check this works with your controls you'll see here that this is everything he has so we are going to examine this tank and now what we're going to do is double click and you'll see how this number goes up because he's loading up the artillery and I can go back and forth and keep loading him up with this artillery that this guy needs so that is a good way to uh, figure out what your tank needs that guy's getting in it or he's on it so say you have a guy on a tank <laughs> like this guy and I don't want him on there go to here drop off crew left click left click again now he's also got a uh, two machine guns on this tank and uh, there is one right here on your hull and it even says that the hull machine gun and then your coaxial machine gun I believe is on the top and that is uh, the hull machine gun at work whoops <laughs> shot my own guy alright so oh you know what you know what it is this tank is unique generally there's a machine gun right to the left of his camp. I never knew that. Now I do. So, uh, that shows you how to reload. Now what we're going to do is we are going to look at how to make barbed wire, minefields, tank traps, and stuff like that. Because these guys can't build anymore now any more sandbags so say we wanted to make a nice little fort over here just for fun there's two ways to uh, make mines one is to do them you can make a squad already ready to make mines and there's two types of mines anti-personnel mines abbreviated AP which you'll see here and then anti-tank mines now I built sandbags and uh, one of the easiest ways to get through a position defended by sandbags is simply to just run over it with a heavily armored vehicle. So, as we saw how vulnerable my base is to tanks, I get the bright idea. I'm going to put some anti-tank mines over here. So I have this squad selected. Now say I, didn't, I was over here in the map and I didn't want to scroll back to my spawn to uh, figure out where my anti-tank mine men were. You could scroll down over here on your left side and uh, find my anti-tank men and double click and then they'll go there automatically. Now what you can do is say I anticipated him to come in through here. Over, I would go to my use item, I'd find the mines and then I right click and drag similar to the sandbags. Now I, I right click off of him so to let him go do his work you see you can split your men up and each one has seven mines individually. Now I'm gonna drag and build a pretty big minefield across and these guys will go about their business. The little right hollow like the right glowing mines mean they're in progress or are about to be put down and the green ones are done. Now it should be noted, for obvious reasons your enemy won't be able to see their mines unless they use sappers, which are little minesweeper guys. And uh, I thought they had a... Uh, anyway, I've honestly never used sappers, but um, if, you, if you knew where a minefield was, you'd use the sappers to... Uh, 
find that. Or alternatively, what you could do is uh, use this sapper tank, which is pretty sweet looking. He's got these, uh, looks like a lawnmower on the front, and basically what it does is it runs over the mine, blowing it up so it won't blow up under a tank. So I could lead the way for my T-34 with my sapper tank. Now say I wanted to make some of the things I talked about earlier, which was tank traps, mines, other mines, um, barbed wire, etc. Because I want to make a nice little fort. Say the game mode's combat or it's front line and I just wanted to do that. What you could do is get your man, come over here and either press X or the examine and look at the truck. And it'll open up his inventory for the truck. Now he's loaded. He's got 14 hedgehogs and we'll do that with this guy. And what a hedgehog does is uh, it basically makes this tanks will not be able to run through it and once he's done I will demonstrate how that is so that's what a hedgehog is now let's say I want to build some barbed wire which infantry won't be able to penetrate I'm gonna get these little reels of barbed wire and if you hover over the thing it tells you what it is and so we are now going to put barbed wire behind the tank traps because say we don't want any infantry sneaking in so that guy will put up barbed wire so let's see once he's putting up the hedgehogs, we will show how tanks can run over barbed wire, but not the hedgehogs. So if a tank were to come this way, he would have a hard time, because you could put men like um, anti-tank rifles or rocket launchers behind these sandbags. So I'm going to put an anti-tank rifle and if you want to know anything like about how good an anti-tank rifle is you can read a little about them or you can just kind of experience what they'd be good at. They're pretty good at pierce, like they're very very good against light vehicles and they're all right against medium vehicles and not as good against heavy vehicles although you can use them to detrack a vehicle and I'll show you what that is after so I'm gonna take direct control of this tank and I'm gonna charge him right here and see that he was not able to get through and it may look like oh I can sneak through no even though it may look like you can get through, the purpose of this is to form a barrier so the game isn't like glitchy or anything like that. You won't be able to sneak through with a wide tank. So now what we can do is I'm going to show you why anti-tank rifles are good. I'm going to take control of this guy and I'm going to try to detract him. Alright, so his track is damaged. Now, what we have to do, this guy will not operate anymore. So, see how he will not move back and forth and there's even a red X. Now, what's important to see where your tank is damaged is in the bottom left corner of the screen. And you'll see how the right side of his track is highlighted in red. and on physical inspection you can see how his track is no longer connected. So there's two ways to repair it. One is to click the tank and then click repair and you'll see a guy hop out of the tank, grab a repair kit and walk over. Now say this guy gets killed in battle. 
and there's no one left in the tank. So say the crew is dead, but here you can see that there's three more. And generally each tank, medium and heavy tanks, will have four crew members each. What you can do is grab a squad member, run over, he'll have the repair function in his bottom r right area. Then you left click and then just click to where you see the wrench. Now what he'll do is if he doesn't have a repair kit, which he did, he would grab this one here. Now say, let's look at this guy's inventory. He doesn't have a repair kit and we have a damaged tank up here. So we'll use what we learned earlier and we'll grab that repair kit. Now this guy is prepared to repair a tank. And we don't want him running around with his repair kit. So we're going to put the Mosin in his hand. And when you check his inventory, the repair kit is in the inventory. And the blue highlights shows what they have on them. So right now he's got this nice field cap <laughs> and uh, his rifle. Now our tank is repaired and we can fix it again. Now there's a few other things that can happen to your tank. I'm going to try to demonstrate that. Huh. It's pretty well defended over there. This may not work. Anyway. That didn't work, but we'll try it the more dangerous way. We are going to throw an anti-tank grenade right here. And he damaged the track, so I could repair the track. Other things that can happen to your tank is your turret can be destroyed, which would not enable you to turn the turret like so, if the turret was destroyed. Also, the gun itself may be destroyed, so this would be highlighted. Um, your hull can be damaged and your hull can be crushed. And when your hull's crushed, it means the tank is destroyed. So those are just some of the basics um, in this video. I'll put up more if you guys really like this and you want to see more. Just comment on anything within Men of War that you may want a better description of. I mean this is pretty much just the basics and more catered towards infantry if you want to see how to use certain vehicles or what vehicles are used for what just comment and like the video and I'll make sure to put one out so thanks for watching and make sure to like this video if it helped you and uh, if not you can like it for the simple fact that these Russians were killing each other thanks for watching